Hey guys and welcome back. Well, as you probably know, I do a lot of Maya videos and it's very rare that the uh, aspect of audio comes into play, okay? Well, that's gonna be the case in this video today because we're gonna create a speaker that will actually respond to music. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, well, before we get started, um, let's look at what our end result is gonna look like and specifically sound like, okay? Let's hit the play button, here we go. Okay, you, you get the idea, right? Alrighty. Well, we're gonna start with a complete new scene and we're gonna start from scratch. So let's go to File and New Scene. I don't wanna save that out. And we're gonna start by modeling our speaker, okay? So we're gonna go to Create, Polygon Primitives. Let's do a uh, sphere. And what I'm gonna do is hit the E to rotate that guy, hold down J, and I'm gonna snap that down. And you can make that speaker as nice as you want. I'm just gonna go into my top view. I'm gonna right click at a face, drag, select half, and delete that. Then I'm gonna right click at an edge. I'm gonna double click on that one and jump to my perspective view. Hit Control E to extrude, R to scale out slightly, G to repeat last command, W to pull forward, G to repeat again, R to scale out, G to repeat again, and W to push back, and G to repeat, W to push back, G to repeat, and W to push back. And you'll understand in a minute why I'm pushing this back. The speaker membrane will be moving forward and you want to have enough meat on the bone, if you will, here to make sure that that will still look okay then, right? So let's uh, smooth this guy. Let's hit three to preview smooth, looks okay, yeah. So I'm gonna go up to uh, mesh and smooth to actually smooth it. And then we're gonna take the outer ring for our speaker. And for that, we'll take a uh, polygon pipe. Where's that thing? Hang on. Not that. So we're gonna to go to uh, modeling and we'll take this guy right here. I'm gonna hit E to rotate it, hold down J like this. Hit W to move it forward a little bit so I can see it better. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit R and we're gonna scale that up to where you wanna be. Hit Control A to open up our attribute editor. Let's go in and bump that up to about 60. And I want a thickness of about 0.1. And we'll do three caps, and there you go. And then I'm gonna right click at a face, drag select these guys, and delete them. So we just got this guy left. And I'm gonna right click at an edge, double click on that, edge row and that one. Hit W and pull that out like so. And then double click on this, shift, double click on that. Control E to extrude, W to push back. G to repeat, W to push back, and G to repeat, and W to push back. And again, for the same reason, okay? I'm gonna go to object mode, we're gonna go to mesh and smooth, and there you have it. Now, you can make this as fancy as you want, as I said, but for now, we're gonna keep it pretty basic, okay? Right, so then for our actual membrane, all right? Now, we need to make sure that it's not connected to this guy. This guy should not be moving forward right that should be in place so we're gonna go in and uh, let's see we'll take one of these guys once again E to rotate hold on J to snap like so we're gonna hit R to scale that up and then we're just gonna jump into this view right here have to zoom in for for wireframe mode let's uh, bump that up to 60 as well and we're gonna scale that up and let's make sure we meet that outer diameter as closely as possible. And then we're gonna take this edge here and I'm gonna go from there. Let's actually take those faces out first. So I'm gonna, uh, hang on, I'm just gonna go to object mode, move this out of the way for a minute. We're gonna right click at a face. Let's drag select those and delete. 
Okay, that seems to be okay. Yeah, we're gonna move that in until you're happy with that position. And that's what I mean by having that meet. When this bounces forward, you don't want it to go here or here. So we'll do somewhere in the middle. All right, we're gonna right click, go to edge. We're gonna double click on this guy. Hit R to uh, scale that. From this view, we should be able to see the whole thing. So you know that we're gonna be about there, but we also want to be at an angle, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna push that back a little bit. So we're gonna go to object mode. We're gonna hit W to about there. And then we're gonna go in, we're gonna right click at the edge, double click on that, and we're gonna bring that forward like this, all right? And then we're gonna take this guy, and it's absolutely possible that we are gonna have to move that in a bit, but that's fine. Uh, let's see if this all looks good. Yeah, I think so. And then you can add some detailing to it, and I would advise you to do that because it will look much, much better, okay? We're gonna go to Insert Edge Loop, Option Box, uh, Single Setting. I'll put in one up here, and then we'll put in here, 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 and here. Q on the keyboard, right click face, click Shift, double click, Control E to extrude, W to pull out, like this. And then we'll take this, and shift click and shift double click this. Control E as well, hit W and we'll push that in a bit, okay? Now when we smooth this out here, I'm gonna go to mesh and smooth, it will look something like this. All right, so this is our speaker setup, all right? I'm gonna direct select everything. I'm gonna go to uh, edit, delete by type history modify freeze transformation and that's about it for now okay now you want to have this guy and this guy to be combined i'm not going to do that just yet because as we build our mesh network it's possible that we need to move this okay but we will do that eventually so we're going to take this guy and we're going to start to create our mesh network we're going to go in we're going to go into our mesh tab and where is this guy right here and we're going to click on this one now, as we do that, by default, you get this uh, instancing row here. And keep in mind that these are 10 instances. So our original object is not here. And I'll show you, if we open up our outliner, you have this hidden object right here. That's our original, okay? Just so you know. All right, now I don't want 10 and I don't want this layout. So I'm gonna go into my mesh distribute here in the attribute editor, and I'm gonna bring that back to one, which is perfectly fine. Let's see if our position is still okay. It seems to be. So now we can go in and take this guy and shift like this guy and go to mesh and combine. And you obviously do not want to combine this guy, right? And also you want to have some subdivision in here because you want to be able to have it move, right? Cool, so now that we have that, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go in and we're gonna look for our mesh here. And we're gonna make sure that we got this speaker membrane selected and we're gonna to go to audio and click on add audio node. Now, as we do that, we get a warning saying that there's no audio file. So we need to add one. And you need to make sure that when you use an audio file here, it has to be a WAV file or WAV or whatever you call it, a W-A-V file, okay? So you can't use an MP3. Uh, Maya requires that to be a W-A-V file, okay? So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna select the file that I wanna use, uh, which is this guy right here. I cannot share that file with you guys because I paid for it and if I share it, I'll get in trouble, but you can use any well, file you like, all right? Now, once we have that, we need to uh, kind of set this up. How do we want this membrane to move when it reacts to the sound? Do we want it to move vertically, like in the Y uh, direction, uh, in the X or in the Z, okay? now. For that, we need to go to our scale, and let's look at where it is right here. So uh, let's set this to zero. Uh, I want this to scale in X only. And let's start off by, let's say, 0 0.5, okay? 
we're going to make sure that we have enough sub uh, enough uh, frames in our animation here. So let's do five thousand. But also, um, if I hit play right now, I will see the movement, but I won't hear anything. So I'll show you. You see that slight movement? It's very slight. So let's uh, bump that up a little bit. We're going to go from 0 0.5 to, let's say, 1. Starting to get better, 2. And that kind of depends on the scale you're using. And you see how in the middle there, it's going back so far that you can look through it. That's what I was talking about. So let's do 1.5, 1, 1 2, 0 0.7. Let's uh, stop this for a sec. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy, go to mesh and separate, take this one, hit W, and I'm going to move this back a little bit. And I'm going to take these two again, mesh and combine. And we're going to go back in. We're going to take this guy. We're going to look for our audio. And there it is. And let's try 1.5 because I want to make sure that we see it OK, right? And there you go. It's still a bit too much. So we'll do one. That should be good. Yeah, pretty cool. Alrighty, so now that we have that done, I want this to be done, but I want to hear the audio as well, okay? I'm just going to turn off the grid here for a sec. So what I'm going to do is go to File, I'm going to go to Import, and I want to make sure that I'm importing an audio file, so select the audio in this drop-down list, and I'm going to select the same file, of course, and I'm going to hit Import. We're going to make sure that we're on frame one, so we're going to jump back to the beginning, and we're going to make sure that it's nice and loud, and then we're going to hit the play button. Here we go. Well guys, that's all there's to it. I hope you had fun with this one. I certainly did. And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And that said, thank you guys so, so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.